Welcome to my channel, Taj Beauty TV. If this is your first time here, hey! And if you've been here before, welcome back. So this video is going to be a continuation to my shopping experience at the Tory Burch store. So I told you guys that was my first time going into the Tory Burch store and I had a good time. I think the video was a short video but I was there for well over an hour. So I really did enjoy um, the shopping experience. And then another thing that was really cool is once you go into those type of designer stores and things like that, a personal shopper is literally there with you the whole time. It's like having literally what it is, a personal shopper helping you out. So he was telling me the names of the items, the prices. He was, just, of course, I'm used to shopping at Macy's, at Kohl's, and of course, they are friendly there, but they're not right by your side as a personal shopper helping you along the whole time. So I really did enjoy that experience at the Tory Burch store, but okay, so this is a part two video. So let me go ahead and get into what purse I actually chose. So let's get into this. What's in my bag? What did I get? What did I buy from the Tory Burch store? So let's go. Okay, so I sh I'm sure you guys saw in the video, um, at the end of the video, there was this black wallet. Um, I picked up this, oh, I'm sorry. My nails are trash. I have an appointment on Friday, so don't judge me. But I went and I picked up this black wallet from the Tory Burch store. I have a few handbags that I'm gonna be showing you guys over the next couple of weeks. Um, and I figured that this wallet would complement all the different types of bags because it's a basic wallet that I feel can still complement all of the purses all together instead of just getting a, a wallet that identically matches the bag I felt like this wallet would go with all of my purses if that makes sense so this wallet is the continental black zip wallet um I really do like how soft it is it's kind of like that pebbled leather so are actually um Yeah, I think this is pebble. I think this is pebble leather, but it's a very soft leather. There is a pocket on the exterior. There's no magnet here, of course, but there is a pocket on the exterior. I like that. Obviously, I wouldn't put anything too crazy in there because there's no magnet, but it does have I don't know. I think I could find maybe business cards or something like that to go in this back area. Um it does have the Tory Birch um, logo right here. A lot of space, a lot of compartments, so that's always a good thing. It even has this additional um, ID carrier on a chain, and the chain is removable, so if you wanted to attach this to another bag, you definitely can. I've heard a lot of people say that they're not using their zippers, but I definitely do for coins. I definitely do use the zipper for coins or e even other items. So here's the price tag in here. And this is, like I said, the Britain Continental Wallet. Um, so here that is. Here that is right. I was able to get this wallet for 50% off. Okay, so I wanted to have the full unboxing effect. So I did have them go ahead and wrap it for me. And they also put it in, you know, the Tory Burch gift bag, wrapped it in tissue paper. So let's get into it. And I better get this right, right? Once, once I remove the tissue paper, there ain't no coming back after that. Okay. 
All right, you guys, and here it is. This is the bag that I purchased, and this is from the Willa line. Um, this is the Willa shoulder bag, and it does have the chain attachment, that back pocket. It does have a magnetic attachment, so you can hear it. Okay, so like I said, I'm super new to Tory Burch, but one thing that I could tell you guys so far is I love how strong their magnetic closures are. Durable, will last the test of time for sure. So this color is actually like this pretty, kind of like um, weathered gray color. It's actually called Volcanic Stone. And this color is so, so pretty. I feel like it's super right on right on time for the fall season even the winter season but honestly i feel like this bag can transition through all the seasons you guys let me know if you guys feel the same i feel like this bag is definitely something that you could wear in the spring and the summer as well and mainly because of the chain details i think that kind of like makes makes it a little bit more fun where you could like dress it up and you could even you know wear it casually so let's get into the inside of this bag. But before I start, let me go ahead and tell you guys the price detail. Um, the suggested retail for this bag, $5.98, you guys, $5.98, which is the same exact price for, for my for the other Fleming bag that I want. Okay, so this bag suggested retail is $5.98. Now, I told you guys in the previous video, the whole store was on sale. So this bag was actually 40% off. So I got it for $3.58. And then of course there's taxes and things like that. So there's no feet at the bottom. There's no feet at the bottom, but it does have like a tougher leather material here. So it's not the same leather here as this quilted leather, um, but it's like, you know, a more substantial leather right here so I think you'll be okay there okay so it also has the magnetic closure let's test that out and see how it sounds so it goes right into place and I definitely love that for me <laughs> I love that for me okay so let's get into the inside you guys let me put the camera down okay so the inside of the bag you guys the only bummer for me is that there is no center divider. It's just an open space. Now, however, it does have a back zipper right here. It does have a back zipper right here. And it also has the Tory Burch logo right here. And I think that logo is really cute. Hopefully you guys could see it. It's like um like a gold plated. I would say this is a purse that you could wear anywhere you want to take it. From brunch to lunch to work to church to an interview. I would I think this ver this purse is a very easy to wear purse. That okay, so here's how the purse looked and this is just the two I'm just wearing this as a shoulder bag right here. I think this is super cute. The size of the bag looks like it fits me pretty good. It's not too big, it's not too small. I feel like this is super complimentary to me. Let me show you on this side. Okay, so let me go ahead and do it as a crossbody. Something about crossbodies, I just love a crossbody. Um, here we go as a crossbody. I think it looks cute as a crossbody too. Now, right now the purse is completely empty. So I'm gonna show you how it looks when it's filled and also let you know if it's really heavy. Right now, super lightweight. I'm not feeling anything. It's not digging into my shoulder. Very, very comfortable. And then, I guess I could wear it I think it might be too long to wear on the forearm, but I don't know. I feel like this purse is a little bit too, uh, it's a little bit too big, I would say, to wear on the forearm, just in size. I think it's a little bit too big. But yeah, I'm liking it as a shoulder or a crossbody. I don't know. The shoulder is cute, but sometimes I feel like they kind of slide off your shoulder. So I don't know, you guys, how I would wear it right now. 
but it definitely feels good either way. Okay, so let me show you what actually fits inside the Willa bag. Now, I have my wallet, but since I got the Tory Burch Britain wallet, I'm going to go ahead and put that inside. Like I said, um, definitely two different colors, two different materials, but I figured that the wallet did not have to match exactly, and this would be a safe bet to fit all the other purses but you guys let me know do you guys I mean typically ideally yes you will want the same wallet but I just didn't in this case and I don't know okay so I have my wallet in there I'm going to also put my keys I didn't have my keys last time I'm gonna put my phone in there actually I'm gonna put my phone in the back flap and it closes so yeah I have the iPhone 13 max and it fits in there fine let's see what else I could throw in here I went to Bath and Body Works today so I have a lot of stuff in here right now okay so I have lip products airpods let's put those in there What else do we have? Hand sanitizer. Two different lotions. Let's put that in there. Now because there's no divider, I'm pretty just putting everything in here. I'm kind of using the wallet as a divider and just centering everything else around it. I'm getting some early Christmas shopping in. So I got all my little coupon books and all of that. I'm going to put that in here. And then I also bought um, my notepad. Now it's looking like, let's see. Okay, so since I have two of some things, I may take something out. Like I may take out this big bulky hand sanitizer and rearrange my keys because that's like my keys are right there so the the notebook is not able to go all the way flat so let me rearrange my keys okay so basically my bag is super full you guys i have my notebook my keys my wallet all kind of woman goodies and things like that okay so let's see if it closes by itself or do i have to make another adjustment okay so i think that's good now my purse definitely feels like I got something in here now, but we all know that I do. Um, so let me show you. So here's how it looks. I feel like it actually looks better now that it has some items in it. So it's not bad, but then again, I haven't worried but three seconds, but I definitely feel the weight of it. I definitely feel the weight. Yeah, you guys. I did bring my iPad. Now, for my iPad to fit, I'm definitely going to have to make some decisions about what to keep in my bag or what not to keep in my bag. Is that an eyelash? Lord have mercy. So, yeah. So... <laughs> Get off of me. So I have my iPad. Now I think the iPad could fit, but I would just probably have to take a lot of this other stuff out and basically um, probably use a different type of wallet as well. But it is good to know that the iPad can fit. All right, guys. So this is the Willa, the Willa shoulder bag on down here. So like I was saying, you guys, um, in the Shop With Me video, if there's any bags that you guys see while we're doing the Shop With Me videos, you could definitely contact the Tory Burch salespeople and they would send you images. That's exactly what they did for me. So I'm, on, I'm communicating with them through email. They're sending me pictures. They're sending me all different types of options, different colorways. And it was really, like I said, it was really a pleasant shopping experience and you know if you're spending some good money 
you want that pleasantry, okay? So if there's any bag that you guys did see during my shop with me, please contact them and they will work with you. All right, guys, that just about does it for this video and I will see you guys next time. Thank <laughs> you.